Former Minneapolis police officer on trial for killing an unarmed woman testified today saying, if I'd known this was going to happen, I would never have become a cop. It was the first time Mohammed Noor has spoken publicly since shooting Justine Ruschik Damon in July 2017. He repeatedly called her the threat as he described what happened in a southwest Minneapolis alley. Mary McGuire was in the courtroom for Nora's testimony today, and she joins us now. Mary? Well, Amelia, this was the moment that a lot of people had been waiting for. Mohammed Noor was soft spoken throughout his four hours on the witness stand. He told the jury he filed, fired that fatal shot to save his partner's life. With his voice cracking, former Minneapolis police officer Mohammed Noor explained to a jury why he shot and killed Justine Ruzchek Damon nearly two years ago. With his partner Matthew Harity in the driver's seat, Noor says the squad's lights were off as they pulled into the alley, listening for any sound pertaining to the 911 call they had received. After driving through the alley for about two minutes, Noor claims they stopped and he hit code four, giving the all clear to dispatch. Just then, Noor says they heard a loud bang on the side of the car, and his partner yelled, Oh Jesus. I saw a woman with blonde hair wearing a pink shirt raising her right arm. Believing his partner feared for his life, Noor says he put his left arm across Harity's chest to protect him from his gun. I fired one shot, and the threat was gone. When he realized he had shot an innocent woman, Noor told the jury, It felt like my whole world was crashing down. I felt great anguish, couldn't breathe, describing it like paralysis. The prosecution focused their questioning on several inconsistencies in Noor's story. They also hammered on why the former officer thought the woman in the alley was ever a threat at all. I fired once and the threat took a couple steps back, said Noor. Did you just say the threat took a couple steps back, Prosecutor Amy Sweezy replied? Yes, said Noor. Blonde hair and a pink t-shirt is a threat to you, said Sweezy. She also touched on the moment Noor says Justine raised her arm outside the squad car. You didn't see her hand, Sweezy asked. No, said Noor. You never saw anything in her hands, Sweezy replied. No, nor said again. Now, court will start again at 8.30 tomorrow morning with Nora back on the stand. The prosecution also plans to call the defense's use of force witness back since Nora disputed or didn't remember many details in his report.